A lot of people want to see how the Milwaukee M12 actually stands up against the other compact or subcompact brands that are 18 volt or higher. And so I actually, I'm curious myself. So let's take a look at the specs of this really quick and see how well these actually are. see what the DeWalt Atomic weighs with a 4 amp hour battery. 3 pounds and 13.2 ounces. Let's see what the Makita subcompact weighs with a 4 amp hour battery. 3 pounds and 0.7.2 ounces. All right, so let's see what the Milwaukee makes. Now, I will say this, that this does have the hammer feature, so it does have extra parts inside, but we are going to bypass that. And if this has a 6 amp hour battery, 3 pounds and 0.4.9 ounces. Right, so let's see what the Ryobi HP Compact drill driver is with a 4 amp hour battery. 3 pounds and 11.8 ounces. All right, so first we, we will do the Makita. The battery is full, and like I said, it's a 4 amp hour battery. We'll see if it, if it can do this. It's on drill, speed 2. Ready? Go. Not bad. Not bad at all for a subcompact sub tool. So next, let's do the Ryobi. It is on drill, speed two. Four amp hour battery. Battery is full. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Next, we'll do the Milwaukee M12. Battery is full. It's on speed two, it's on drill. Ready? Go. Not too shabby at all. All right, then next, let's do the DeWalt Atomic. It's on speed two, it's on drill, four amp hour battery, battery is full, ready, go. Not too shabby, but I feel the DeWalt was a little weak on that one, that it sounded like it was weak. All right, let's take out the Makitas. Ready, go. Let's take out the Ryobis. Ready, go. Let's take out the Milwaukee M12s. Ready, go. And let's take out the DeWalt Atomics. Ready, go. Time. Those were all six inch specs, by the way. All right, let's get, do something a little bit trickier. Let's do an eight inch timber lock. Ready, go. Time. Let's do Ryobi's next. Ready, go. It's on drill speed two. Ooh, oh, Ryobi, uh, looks like Ryobi flashed out. Yep, I, I am gonna declare that as a fail because Ryobi should have been able to do that. Next, let's do the Milwaukee M12. Ready, go. You can do it. Up, oh, uh, Milwaukee M12 cut out as well. It's flashing, let's see if it, it can finish it. Yes, it can, but the, so far the Ryobi and Milwaukee failed. And so yeah, now remember you guys, you guys asked for this video, so I'm giving it to you because a lot of people for the past uh, year and a half wanted to see how, how the M12 stuff works against the compact 18 volt stuff. So don't hate me for the results because you guys wanted this video. Then let's do the DeWalt Atomic. It's on speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. All right, let's take out Makita's. Drill speed two. Ready, go. This little guy does have some power. It really does. All right, let's see if the Ryobi could take out its timber lock. Ready, it's on drill, speed two. Ready, go. Yes, it can. 
but it did fail putting that in though. All right, next, uh, let's take out the Milwaukee M12. It's on drill, speed two. Ready, go. Yes, it can. Then let's take out the Atomic. It's on drill, speed two. Ready, go. Time. All right, so this is a long shot. We are gonna see on how well these do with a four inch lag. Now, I see this, all of them require speed one for this. Uh, I seriously doubt that these might, they, they might be able to do it, but we will see. Ready, go. Yep, okay, that failed. All right, so that was the Makita. Let's do the Ryobi. Speed one, it's on drill. That's a ready. Go. All right, the Ryobi failed. Next, let's do the Milwaukee M12. Speed one, it's on drill. Ready, go. Yep, and it, the M12 failed. And the last one to test out is the Atomic. It's on speed one, it's on drill. Ready, go. Up. Oh. Yep, that's where the Atomic stops. All right, so next let's do a two and a half inch holdozer. We'll do speed two, we'll test it out. Battery is full. Ready, go. Yep, uh, speed one will be required for these. So we'll start right here. All right, ready, go. See, these can do it. Time. The final battery life is still full. The temperature of the tool is, I saw 91 degrees, but 88 degrees. All right, so next let's do the Ryobi. Four amp hour battery, battery still full. Speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Battery life is still at full bars. Let's do the final temperature reading. It's at 89, 90 degrees. All right, so next let's do the Milwaukee M12. Speed one, it's on drill. Ready, go. Milwaukee might not be able to control it.
He can do it. Almost there. There we go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, the battery is still full on the Milwaukee M12. Final temperature reading. 82, 93, 85, 90, 94 degrees. 94 degrees the Milwaukee M12 got. Last, let's do the, the DeWalt Atomic. Battery is still full. In speed one, it's on drill. Ready, go. Time. Battery life on the DeWalt is still full. So all the batteries are still full. Let's do a quick temperature reading. 89 degrees, 89 degrees. All right, guys, so like I said in the beginning of the video, this video was to see again how well the Milwaukee M12 actually stood up against the other compact or subcompact higher voltage tools. Now, in my opinion, this actually did very well against these against these brands. And one reason why the Hilti Compact drill isn't a part of this because this is actually a very powerful drill. And as you can see, it is a tad bit bigger than the other ones. So this is a borderline a compact tool. So, but it is it is. Hilti's compact tool, so that was not a part of the equation. I just want to see how well these actually did against each other, and the Milwaukee, actually, they, they all did actually pretty well for what the tool actually is. All right, so tons of videos coming out, you guys. Lots of plans in the future. I am back uploading, and so it's going to be fun. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.